What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Two Phones, back again with another informative video for free. And this video, I'm going to show you guys how to um, download and install Plex. Now, Plex is a media server um, that you can customize and add music, movies, photos, uh, that type of thing. That it's, it's like a, it's basically a media um, center. So um, you can get this on your Chromebook as well as use it via the uh, the Chrome browser. But it's a, in my opinion, it's a lot limitations to that. So um, right now you're seeing the Plex home screen um, from the website. You can go to plex.tv. I'll leave a link in the description box as always. And you guys can go and check this out, um, read up on it. Um, they got premium packages. As you can see um, through the tab, you got Plex Pass, Ultimate Live TV and DVR. And title our music premium. Um, that's if you you want more than just the for free. All right, but we're just going to talk about the free setup and everything like that. So no further ado, let me go ahead and minimize this window. Let me open up the Google Play Store once again. Um, I have it in my shelf. Um, you can add it to your shelf. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show you guys in just a moment. All right, so. This is the Google Play Store. You can get this on your Chromebook. I'll leave those videos and the cards going across the screen and links in the description box. Now you want to go to the, the, the uh, search. You want to type in Plex. It should be the very first one that pops up. Plex, stream free movies, shows, live, TV, and more. You want to tap on that with your mouse. As you can see, I do have a update to the uh, application. All right, so you... Um, I already got it installed. So you just hit the download button, install it. Once you got that installed, let me exit out real quick. You go to your launcher pad, you tap on that, hit the up arrow, and you see the Play Store? That, at least if you don't have it down there in the shelf, you want to right click on the Play Store. I have it uh, a pin, but you want to pin it. Pin it to the shelf so you can always have access to the Google Play Store fast and simple. All right, so you want to tap on that. And then open it open and you will get the Google Play Store fast, simple, and easy. And then type in um, Plex. My apologies for that. So, uh, yeah. So if once you got that installed, you want to go through your app drawer. That's what I still call it. Um, look for Plex. Okay, I just passed it up. Look for Plex. Open it up. And boom. Now, this is my setup. This is how my Plex account looks, um, things like that. When you first set it up, it's going to look totally different. Um, so just sign up. You get free account, and you'll get all this um, right here, the, the movies on Plex, the movies and shows on Plex for free with your free account. Now, as you can see, they got the recommended tabs. They got Plex Picks of the Week. Um, let's just go ahead and scroll over real quick. Um, man, I just like the user interface. And this is on a Google Chromebook. This is on a, 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 a Chromebook from HP. Uh, I just love the Plex interface, man. And they have so much free content for you guys. Um, everyone should have it. You can use this on Android, iOS, Fire TV, um, all of it. Just like Cody for Android. Plex is just like that for Android. It has, like I said, it has a little... Um, you know, watered down. It's been watered down since, you know. But, um, okay, you got the watch list tab. You got the categories tab. You got the channels. Like I said, they do have free live TV. Now, this is the only plug-in that they have. Uh, fortunately, they got rid of the plug-ins, but they got Crackle. And you can get Crackle for free with Cody. All right? And uh, you want to see that video, um, I'll drop that video link in the description box as well for Cody. Uh, so, let me get out of here. All right. So we got the live TV. And it's a real TV guy, man. It's a real TV guy when it loads up. Here we go. This is what I was just watching recently. Um, okay. All channels. And you could you could do, use this on your, your iPhone, your Android, all that. I'm just showing you guys what you could get for free. Okay. This is for free. No jailbreaking. No rooting. All that. All this comes with the Plex account and media center, all right? 
So here we go, man. Uh, channels galore. I mean, he has timestamps and everything. So, uh, yeah. Also, you got web shows if you're into that. Kind of like YouTube. It's just a basically, you know, like I said, water down YouTube uh, section. Um, got some of your favorite um, content creators and things in that sort. Uh, yeah. So that's the top popular shows on Plex that you can watch. All right. Okay, you see that. You see that. They're talking about the iPhone 12, unclaimed money. I don't know how true that is. They got a sports section, all right? Pets and animals, science, film and TV, uh, video gaming, food and travel. This is all for the web shows tab. Now, let's go back. They even got a new section for you all, all right? You can check them out right here. They got red, recommended tabs. Uh, they got categories tab. All right, and they got the channels again. See, with the news, they got more news channels, which is very awesome. Awesome to see that. And some of the stuff you can get on Cody, too, which is <laughs> hilarious to me, but it is what it is. All right, let me get out of here if I can. Let me see, escape. Uh, they won't let me out. Okay, there we go. All right, so, and you also got free podcasts free podcast to listen to you know what i'm saying when you're bored you know you got the my podcast i probably don't have anything here nope got categories just like the news section okay let's go back to the main like music now you can actually upload your own music to here like music files that you've downloaded you know from off the internet uh, things and that sort. You got like in a cloud, uh, Dropbox, or Google Drive. You can do that and link it up to here. Um, like I said, they do have a premium package if you want to pay, but I'm talking about the full free. So, um, yeah, I don't, my account's probably empty because I don't have a premium package. Okay, then you got the download Zinc. Okay, so it says download Zinc. No items to download. So, and download Zinc will work once again with your Android, iOS device, your tablets, your iPads, if you want offline access uh, from your Plex, um, your Plex account. Okay. You got open video files. So you got video files on here on your Chromebook, your Windows, Mac. You can open it right from the Plex account. And then you got the more tab. And then you got your settings. All right, so it's it's a really cool, simple layout. I don't understand why people don't get it. I, I think what it is is people don't understand when you create your own like uh, media center, and you can do that. All right, and, and that's actually for free too. So um, as you can see, I got my own center. Um, let me see. Let me go back. Uh, I think I exit out. My fault. All right, let's see. All right, so you want to go to more. Let me hit up more. All right, so this is my uh, library of movies. It's my library of movies. It's not the most organized, um, but I think Plex tries to do it themselves. So this is like from A to Z. So this is like A to Z. This is it's a small collection right now, but I haven't been using it lately. But I'm just here to show you that you can use Plex and I do have 2020 movies as you can see I got movies from 2020 on here uh, movies from the 60s and 70s all that old school stuff because it's websites online that allow you to download movies for free so I just load them up to my Google Drive my Dropbox account and then I put them onto my terabyte storage and stuff like that and I'm gonna show you another way um, that you can create a Plex server but I'm just showing you the free stuff right now. So, um, yeah, so we got a library. It got movies. Let me see the movies tab real quick. Okay. So we got folders too. So they can break it down to folders. Um, let me go to actions. It's going to show you all the action movies right now. And if you got the right, if you got the best file, it should give you a good detail of the movie. 
like the Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man. It's gonna show you like all the actors and stuff like that. It's in the movie. It's gonna give you a good description about the movie, um, stuff like that. So, yeah, man, this is a great, great um, product and service to check into. All right, so hit the home button and here we go. All right, let me go ahead and exit out this real fast. Now I'm gonna show you another way you can get Plex. Uh, if you got a NAS or cloud server, all right. So I got a, I got a NAS. I didn't even know it was a NAS. I got a NAS and cloud server, and I could get channels DVR, and I could get Plex. Now I'm not sure it's going to show me anything about Plex. Okay. So all right, here we go. So once again, just read the description. Check it out for yourself. All right. So yeah, you can get a Plex account. Uh, with your my cloud and basically you can take it anywhere um that you are as long as you log into your my cloud same way with the dropbox and google drive you can do the same thing with those two now if you guys want me to do a, a thorough video about google drive and dropbox how to get the best out of those things i would be glad if you do it um yeah so that was another option and like i said you could also use it through uh your browser <laughs> Man, this is some incredible stuff. Um, yeah, so I mean, all you guys gotta do is go to the website, do some research up on it, you know, watch the tutorials. This is one. I'm showing you guys once again. <laughs> um <laughs> it's compatible with everything, even Raspberry Pi, I believe. Uh Linux, I think it even works on Linux, Windows, Fire TV, Chromecast, Roku TV, Android um apple tv as you see they show like the max the iphones and then i'm pretty sure this is like a roku tv or amazon or android tv in the back because apple doesn't have their pure tv yet all right and yeah those are the proud partners so and you would like to see more partnerships uh you know just hit up plex of course they're available on uh twitter you can follow them on twitter you know what i'm saying so yeah, man. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Did you know Plex can do all this stuff? You got live TV for free. You got access to movies and TV on demand for free. Um, you can add, you can create your own movie library, your own music library for free, and you can have the access to all this stuff for free on any device right now, even the web. <laughs> all right. So let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. Holla at your boy, two phones for free. I'm out.